both are fit and athletic and like to start the day with a spurt of exercise. Avid foodie Megan likes to dine at chic Italian restaurant Bocca di Lupo in Soho. Sources say Prince Harry is partial to some fish pie and beef Wellington. The pair regularly watch Netflix box sets and enjoy BBC show McMafia. They charmed the crowds in Brixton this week with their second official public engagement. But when not on royal duties, how do Prince Harry and Meghan Markle spend their days? With four months to go until the wedding, we reveal the couple's daytime routine, from exercise regimes to cozy date nights and their favorite Italian restaurant. Eating out in trendy Soho Megan is an avid foodie and likes to dine at Bocca di Lupo, a chic Italian restaurant in Soho, London, whose celebrity clientele includes actors James McAvoy and Ralph Fiennes. For flexitarian Megan, she sometimes follows a vegetarian diet. There are plenty of mouth-watering dishes, from truffled radish, celeriac and pomegranate salad, 14 pounds, to sea bream carpaccio, 18 pounds. She and Harry regularly return to Dean Street Townhouse, a Georgian-style venue owned by the Soho House Group, of which the pair are VIP members, where they had their first date. In the 20s, Fred Astaire, Noel Coward and Dylan Thomas were guests. Today, cocktails, among them a Soho Negroni, made from gin, martini and bitters, cost £11 apiece. A few doors down is Soho House, where low-lit dining rooms, a private cinema and fireside snug offer a perfect retreat for the couple. They've also been seen at Little House, another private club in Mayfair, where Megan brunches on £11 avocado and poached eggs, washed down with a £7.50 pennies glow juice, containing ginger, lime and guava. They share plates, says a member approvingly. The lighting's low and they don't get bothered. Yoga and jogging both Megan and Harry are fit and athletic, and like to start the day with exercise. While Harry heads off to the KX Health Club in Chelsea, a gym that costs £575 a month and whose members include actors Eddie Redmayne and Hugh Grant, Meghan prefers running six-mile circuits around Kensington Gardens twice or three times a week. Recently, she has confined her outings to Kensington Palace Green, where she is protected from sightseers by a newly planted screen of hedgerow. She's not thought to have a personal trainer and instead devotes her time to yoga, which she's been practicing for several years. Her mother, Doria, worked as a yoga teacher. She's also a fan of workout DVDs, including Tracy Anderson's, a favorite of Gwyneth Paltrow and Kim Kardashian, and Pilot's Platinum, an American cardio and strength workout which she credits for her toned limbs and taut abs. Meghan has promised pal Millie McIntosh, the maiden Chelsea star and Quality Street heiress, she'll attend one of her SBC, Skinny Bitch Collective sessions the most exclusive fitness class on the planet. Invitation only, the classes are full of supermodels and A-listers, involve high-intensity animalistic exercises and cost about £40 a session. Beauty rituals as she prepares for life as a princess, Meghan has been taking time out to pamper herself and ensure she looks her best for every public appearance. Royal sources say her dewy complexion is down to Sarah Chapman, who owns the Skinesis Clinic in Sloan Square, London, and counts actresses Naomi Watts, Yuma Thurman and supermodels Gigi Hadid and Jordan Dunn among her devotees. Sarah, whose hands are reportedly insured for £1 million, is a skincare supremo whose treatments included a 220-pound LED light therapy facial and 60-minute skin resurfacing therapy for £450. There is reportedly a six-month waiting list for her services, but Megan, who swears by Sarah's 149-pound stem cell collagen activator duo and 44-pound ultimate cleanse, seems to have skipped the queue. 
she counts on Sherry.